So now that you've got your template the way you want it, with a nice selection of instruments in there that are going to allow you to start composing immediately in Pro Tools, you may want to make a few more adjustments to the session just to tailor it to the way that you work. So I've got my memory locations so that I can recall all of my different mixer configurations, but here in the edit window I want to change the grid value and the nudge value. Now the grid value affects what the cursor will snap to when you're making a selection and also what the region will snap to when you either move it or copy it. Now the nudge value affects the plus and minus keys when you use them to either nudge a region backwards or forwards in time. At the top of the edit window I've got a main counter and a sub counter and one of those wants to be set to minutes and seconds. I don't need to see all of the timeline rulers so I'll alt or option click to hide them. And don't forget that you can also view other types of parameters like instruments, the inserts, the I.O. and you most definitely want to view the real-time MIDI properties. Now these don't affect audio, only MIDI. And you can hide them the same way, Alt or Option click. Then the last thing in the edit window is I want to see the track list because I'm going to be working that track list as I start composing. And then back in the mixer you may want to view the level meters as either narrow or wide. You just hold down all three modifiers and click. You can also choose to view the mixer as narrow or wide, depending on how many tracks are in your session. And that's it. All we need to do now is uh, go up to the file menu and save the session or the template, and then we'll close it. So now we need to protect or lock that template. So I'm going to navigate my audio drive and then right click on the composing template and get properties. I'll make it read only and just apply it. On the Macintosh, very similar. Again, just navigate your drive, find your template, only this time you get info, and we do that from the file menu. I'm going to check it as a stationary pad and lock it. And that's it. Now, whenever you want to write music in Pro Tools, you just double click your composing template, your session will open just the way you like it, and all you need to do is save it as a new session. And now you're ready to start creating music.